Hello, I'm Brett Espenshade, Principal of Highland Elementary here in the Effort Area School District. We have a great little video with students here that we're going to show to you shortly. The purpose of today's video is to provide students and families with a lens of what we are doing here at Highland Elementary to make school the most safe, comfortable, and student-centered learning environment possible. Boys and girls, families, we miss you. Your teachers and Highland staff have been working nonstop to prepare for the beginning of the school year. They are excited. I'm excited and we cannot wait for Monday, August 31st, 2020. Students and families, thank you for your patience and flexibility these last couple of weeks. It's been quite the adventure and we are ready to write a new chapter or two for this upcoming school year. We'll see you around. Boys and girls at Highland Elementary, as you see here, will be wearing face coverings. Face coverings will be worn at all times while in school. The guidance does allow for face covering breaks to occur for up to 10 minutes when students are spaced at least six feet apart. Grade levels will work to plan similar mask breaks daily. Face covering required and practice social distancing signs will be posted throughout the school building and referenced daily. The importance of proper hand washing will be reviewed with students daily by teachers and staff and all students should wash hands or use hand sanitizer upon entering and before leaving the classroom. As you can see, here at Highland, we have travel lanes. The boys and girls here, when they are in the hallways, they are wearing masks like this. And when they travel, they're traveling just like mom and dad would travel on a street. They're staying on the right side of the travel lanes. Nothing too crazy, but it's just a way for us to be safe and social distance from one another. All right, as you can see, boys and girls, here's a sample classroom of how it is set up where we are able to be safe and social distance. You see the, the boxes where everyone has their own designated area. Face coverings will be worn when students are in their classrooms. Each student will have like I said, a designated area for them to learn from in their own classroom. Each student keeps his or her belongings at his or her desk of the designated spot that they are seated at. Each student will have a set of basic supplies in a pencil box in his or her desk. Each student will, will, rece will receive pencil, scissors, crayons, a glue stick, dry erase marker, highlighter, post-it notes, pencil sharpener, ruler, and a stylus. Each student should bring or is encouraged to bring an old sock or cloth to use as a dry eraser. Headphones will be available for each student. However, a child can bring their own. Boys and girls, let's give a little nice wave to the camera here. All right, they are doing a great job socially distancing themselves, but being in a classroom here at Highland Elementary. And boys and girls, here is where since they are six feet apart throughout the day, they will have opportunities for mass breaks. And those mass breaks last up to 10 minutes, as I said earlier, and their teachers have worked out a consistent schedule for that to happen. All right, boys and girls, one more last wave. Thank you. All right, take a look at the cafeteria here at Highland Elementary. Lunch procedures are like this. Students will wash their hands or use hand sanitizer prior to walking into the cafeteria. Face coverings will be worn when students are picking up their lunch and going to their designated location in the cafeteria to eat their lunches. Boys and girls, as you can see here, our friends here are in the cafeteria, socially distanced, six feet apart, and when they can do that while they're eating, their masks are off. Each student will eat lunch at his or her designated area in the cafeteria to maintain a six foot distance from their classmates while eating. Students will make their lunch counts in the morning upon arrival and teachers will send down lunch cards according to choice for the cafeteria to process in the morning. All right, boys and girls, we are now at the playground. Recess, one of the most important parts of the day, right boys and girls? Yeah. yeah. All right, 
All students and teachers will wash their hands or use hand sanitizer before going outside to recess and upon returning into the building. Students will wear face coverings in the hallway as they head to recess from the cafeteria and will attach it to their own personal lanyard when they get outside to the designated recess zone. The Highland Elementary Playground will be divided into two zones. Each class will be given a specific zone to participate in outdoor recess. The zones will be designated for a select number of days. During a scheduled recess time, there will only be two classes playing at one time, one class per zone. At the end of the recess, the classes will line up outside door number four. Students will wear their face coverings as they wait to line up to enter the school building. Each zone will have three recess crates that will be switched out and cleaned during each recess time. Boys and girls, you may head on out to your recess zone. As you can see, they are now six feet apart and at recess, if they practice this maintaining of social distancing six feet apart, they can take their masks off. Boys and girls, one more last wave. Thank you. Wow, that was an awesome video shoot. Special thank you to Cole, Paige, Julianne, Lily, Connor, Sadie, Gunner, Colton, Haley, Mackenzie, and Daisy, and a special thank you to Mrs. Warnts for being our camera woman today. Boys and girls, I cannot wait to see you here at Highland Elementary on Monday, August 31st. We'll see you around and have a great rest of your week.